Whenever a piece of cordage is cut, if the ends are not captured, it will unravel itself. Right. And if you don't put an end to this, this'll become an Irish pennant. And we really don't want these untidy things hanging around the boat. So now, let's whip her right into shape before she ever starts looking like that. Whenever I whip the end of a line, I like to use a natural fiber waxed sail twine. I have found this holds up best in the long term. I pass the twine through the eye of the sail needle, double it, and tie a stopper knot in the end. There are two good reasons for using a double strand. One is, well, it's faster to be sure to be sure. The other is that your reach isn't so far as if you use a single strand. I stick the needle between the strands and through the strand on the opposite side. This way I can hide the stopper knot in the fold. I then start wrapping the line, being careful not to incorporate twists in the double strands. They should lay in there nice and flat. The whipping should be square, that is to say, it is as long as the diameter of the line. Once you have enough wraps on, pass the needle between the strands and back out the other side. The locking part of the whipping should lay between the strands and be tightened securely. Pull it good and tight each time so that it tightens the whipping down into the lay of the line. On large diameter lines, I usually make two passes at this. On the last pass, you can stick the needle through that hitch, make an overhand knot, and pass the needle back through the whipping. Then pull it tight and clip it off. I usually try to whip the lines before I cut them. If it's a synthetic line, after the whipping's done, it can be cut with a hot knife. I cut the line to a slight point and do a good job of melting it, making sure that there are no lumps around the edges. This way, the line can be easily passed through blocks. On braided line, the procedure is much the same. I still put the locking hitches in. The only difference is they can be perpendicular to the wraps and 90 degrees to each other. All right, and there you have it, you see, the perfect end to your cartage.